Hello there, people of the internet, and welcome to Horse Rockets Academy. Hi, I'm Eliza, and I love to read. And I'm Jacob, I am her father, and I love to learn. It's been a while since we recorded an episode. So this episode is going to be our blast off for season two. In this season, we're going to each do a segment called What I've Learned This Week. But apparently, my younger siblings chickened out, so it's just me and my dad talking about what we learned. Hey, no worries about it. We're trying to just get back in the mode of actually producing the shows. You and you can see we've changed the location a little bit. We used to do this in front of a green screen, and it would take hours to render the video so it would have a cool background with green lines around us on the outside. So now we have a bookshelf in the background. It's our basement. Okay, but what does the bookshelf do? What do people think when they see a bookshelf? That we're sophisticated. That we're sophisticated. Absolutely. Sorry. So that's one of the reasons why we've got the books in the background. We want to look smart. This is the actual room where we do a lot of our homeschooling. It's also the entertainment room uh, at times. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining us. All right, let's skip ahead. Where are we going today, Eliza? We're going to ask me some questions what I've learned. All right, so I think it's your turn to share what you've learned this week. Can you tell us what that is? Well, and my I've learned this week is that I've had a story I wrote a few years ago, and a year ago actually, and I let it go. I didn't look at it for... You said let it go. Sorry. It's okay. All right, keep going. Anyway, so you wrote this story a few years ago. Tell us about it. I just quit writing on it, didn't look at it for a while, and I looked back on it recently, and I'm like, whoa, I did a horrible job on this. I mean, everybody does that. I mean, that is a normal thing for writers. I've written three books so far. Let me tell you, I still look back at what's published in them. I'm embarrassed a little bit at times because I could say it so much better with what I know now than what I did then. Sure. So now something else, I had a really good teacher share this with me and it's the advice that your stories are never finished. You get to a point where you stop working on them or something else like that, but your stories truly are never finished. Is this, I mean, you still have ideas for that original story, don't you? Yeah. Would you go back and work on it if you spent the time on it? Would you mind doing that? No, no. Okay, so the story's not finished yet, you just, don't have time to go back and, and fix it per se. Because I'm writing on another story and the other people who are helping me writing on it, they have 140 pages! But do you, we'll talk about that after the show, but one of the things okay. you've got to learn is not to be intimidated by it. When you start off writing, you want to start with your idea, you have your idea right at the top that you want to share, your story that you want to share in one sentence, and then you just write as fast as you can after your outline. You get it all on paper. And then after that, you go back and, and fix in, fill in holes and more plot details and things like that. And that, that method is something we'll work on. And maybe you can report next week about how we're doing on it. Huh? Okay. All right. So what's next? We've got our script up here. What does it say we do next? It's your turn to tell us some stuff you learned this week, Dad. All right. So I have been trying to be a good learner. Um, and so during lunches, while I'm at work, I've been watching uh, or working on Khan Academy. Um, I it's a cool website. Really is great for homeschoolers. They have, I don't know when they updated it, but they've got like, the computer programming stuff was really what I wanted to learn. I've been wanting to learn a program since I was in high school. Um, but unfortunately, the way it's set up, it's blocked at my work. But the other stuff isn't blocked. So I've been learning about the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood. And I think you want to ask me a question about the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood. What is it? Okay, so... <clears throat> What it is, is the pre-Raphael Raphael was this painter in Italy back in the day. He's also a Ninja Turtle, but that's a different Raphael. Okay, so Raphael was a painter back in the day who did a, developed a style for artwork that back when the church was the one mostly contracting artists, it was, they wanted the artist to mimic Raphael's style. And so what the pre-Raphael Brotherhood did is they said, okay, well, let's go back to before Raphael. Let's use some of the techniques from before Raphael as well as some of the modern techniques that we have today. And so they, they rocked the boat in Victorian England. It was about the mid-1800s, and their work is really, really great. Um, I like it. I wouldn't normally spend the time looking at it in a museum, but the way Khan Academy teaches it makes it really easy for me to learn. 
So there's one other thing. Ask me how I've been using it at work. Daddy, how have we been using it at your work? Okay, so I've got to make presentations and things. We've done that before, right? We've done presentations for various yeah, things. Yeah, bro, family home evening. Family home evening and our cruise that we're doing this summer. We've made presentations for Which that. Which is awesome. I yeah. can't wait to go on it. We are really excited. Oh, and for that one, Daniel learned how to do formulas and spreadsheets. And Liza and I, we did all, all really cool putting that together. By the way, we won't be, we'll try, should we do an episode more on the cruise? We'll have to find a McDonald's and be able to upload it. But we'll work on that later. Anyway, that's June. Right now it's not June. <laughs> so that's a long ways off. So, but paying attention to our work. So I've been learning photography with my wife, Chrissy. And I've also had to produce presentations at work. And the techniques that the Pre-Raphaelites use and the way that it's explained on Khan, I've started to incorporate some of those into my presentations. They're terrible. They're like, like coloring inside the lines, barely, you know, as far as using art techniques. But they're better than they were before I learned those techniques. So I want to do more of that. And I haven't finished the module yet, but we will link to it uh, in the show notes for this episode. Okay? Okay. So anything else you learned this week that you wanted to share, Liza? Hmm. Oh yeah, the new Cinderella movie came out and I went to see it Friday. The best. I did not see it. I... He had to stay home. It was only girls allowed to go. Me okay. and a couple of my friends went with our moms, our sisters. Now, it was fun. you're really excited about it, but why should I go see it? Because in the old Cinderella movie, the cartoon version, they have her where Cinderella, she's all, the, she doesn't really care about the world, she only wants to go to the ball, because apparently it's all fame, all exciting and everything. But in this Cinderella movie, they have it way more laid out, way more details and everything. And Cinderella's, in the old Cinderella movie, when the sister, the stepsisters tore her dress, they and they only made it all about that dress in the cartoon. In this Cinderella movie, they made it all, they made it about her parent and how her mother died. She, Cinderella made a promise to her mother that she would have kind, be kind, and have courage. And she, and when she, they ripped the dress, she just cries that she didn't keep her promise and everything. And it's just so awesome. So you're still not selling me because I can't appeal to those, or those characters aren't really appealing to me, or that situation isn't really appealing to me, but I can see how that appeals to you. Well, now, also, I can tell you about the prince. So the prince, you know in the Cinderella story, they only have the Duke go out and find, in the old Cinderella story, they have the Duke that go find her, and she breaks her shoe. But this Cinderella story, they have it where the prince acts as one of the acts as one of the guards near the duke that goes all around that goes all around the kingdom and tries to find the slipper. And at Cinderella's house, Cinderella is locked up in our tower, can't get anywhere. You're gonna spoil the story for him. Okay, I'm not gonna. T- I'm gonna still tell though. No, no, no. You can't tell them how it ends. They. Dad. They- it- Cinderella story. Then don't be the one to spoil it for them. Maybe they don't know. Maybe you don't know. I mean, you're smart. We love you, right? But maybe you don't know the story of Cinderella, and we're not going to be the ones to tell you. Sorry, you're going to have to go see it. It's a pretty awesome movie. I'm going to force him to see it when it comes out on DVD. Yeah, I'll make you buy that one. Okay, so what do we have next on the show notes here? Um... All right, we're at the end of the show. We hope we mentioned something on this show that you think is worth sharing with your friends and family. Like Cinderella. Sorry. Okay, if we did (laughs) give them some awesome nugget they want to share, what should they do? They should thumbs up us and or Facebook it or copy the thing on YouTube Mm -hmm. or go to our website. Oh yeah, go to our website. Right. And now, if you didn't like parts of the show or you just want to give us some general feedback, please feel free to comment. We love the comment section and we do read them. So we're looking forward. Thank you for joining us for this kickoff of season two. And we're going to see you next time. Bye. Bye.